Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial uh, of scale. In this one, uh, I will be showing you how to analyze a uh, moisture test. So we will be analyzing the test that we created in another tutorial, uh, which was uh, about the creation of a moisture test in scale. And then we performed it also once in uh, with the option performed also in another tutorial and um, yeah now we will analyze the results obtained uh, so we select our test here moisture tutorial we name it like this and uh, press confirm here are the this is the um, the analyzing uh, interface we see the results available in this list uh, here uh, to select uh, one of the available results of this test uh, to analyze it, we just add it uh, in the select list. We can add them one by one, uh, all together, as you wish. Then uh, we have here the different scenarios. In this test, uh, we had five uh, scenarios. Um, then we have the visualizing options. There are two available, uh, steps and averages. Uh, the option steps is only available in the adaptive uh, test so we will be in only using the option averages uh, here are the different um, information uh, that we obtained uh, through the subject in our test uh, if you remember we had uh, we selected eight quest questions that means uh, eight comparative uh, items uh, as you might have seen in maestro test uh, samples the, there is a hidden reference, uh, an anchor, which is also hidden, and then the, the other samples. They are randomly assigned, so in every scenario they are in different places to avoid uh, confusion when analyzing them. Uh, under question one, it will be always uh, the judgment uh, between reference and hidden reference. In question two, between reference and um, anchor. Question three, um, it... Uh, like let's say that uh, in every under every question there is the um, the judgment between the reference and the sample or stimuli uh, placed in the the position in the here the number then this number corresponds to the position in the samples vector for example always the reference uh, when we create a, a test and we are seeing the samples it's always found in position in a sample slot one uh, when we are assigning the samples. Uh, in the case of measure test, the anchor, we place it always in uh, the sample slot 2. Then the sample, which is uh, more similar in this case to the reference, we place it in sample slot 3. Then next one, sample slot 4, and um, like this until the last uh, stimuli and last sample slot. So. Uh, and these options uh, refer, uh, I will be explaining them while analyzing results uh, and the same with the confidence interval. So let me just uh, select one set of results. Uh, we'll, we'll select also one scenario and we will select question one. Uh, question one refers, to, as I explained, to the judgment between uh, reference and hidden reference. We were talking about, um, we make an analogy in this Moser test uh, with uh, quality uh, and tone. And we said that um, as uh, lower the tone was, because the reference it was the lowest one, the better quality. And as uh, highest the tone was, the lesser uh, quality. So it makes sense because question one, it's refer uh, judgment between reference and hidden reference. Uh, hidden reference is also the reference, so the quality uh, should be um, the maximum, the most high. And uh, we see here that uh, the quality in this case was 100, so it was the maximum. Now we will select question 2, which was the hidden reference, and here we would uh, have, uh, sorry, it was the, the anchor. The anchor was the lowest, uh, the highest tone, so it should be the the sample or the stimuli with the less quality. As we see, it's appearing here. We can uh, activate the legend. Uh, we see subject one, uh, Q1, the big cross, and uh, this one smaller, question two. 
Question three should be uh, also high quality. Question four also uh, less quality than than question five and uh, successfully. Uh, um, it doesn't matter. I mean, the tendency it should be like this. So yeah, as you see, um, here are the different uh, yeah. Uh, the tendency it's uh, like sorry um, I don't I didn't know the word in English but I mean yeah <laughs> the questions are appear here in the legend and uh, they should all always follow the order like this one should be Im also the the always the highest and uh, this one always the the lowest um, so we can select also more scenarios all together here is appearing the number of a scenario so we can make it uh, a little bit smaller uh, yeah and uh, this is a little bit the results obtained uh, sometimes when the value is uh, exactly zero you cannot see it because it's like um, in the in the mark in the border um, of the graphic so we can make it a little bit smaller with this option here and this would be a little bit how it would look like now let me show you when I add uh, another set of results the the other set of results randomly uh, take uh, another color the the cross uh, symbols are the same but with another color the color is randomly assigned so now they are very similar maybe yeah, now they are a little bit more different so this is the option we can in the visualization uh, we can have single averages this means that uh, we have uh, one mark for every subject in each scenario we can have ge general averages and this means that uh, the the results of every of the different subjects are averaged uh, in only one value I will show you with me less questions. I will show you always with also with question two and question three. Uh, also general and general. So we see this line, and this line is basically the average from uh, subject one and subject two. Uh, we can also see a combination of them. If we see here question three, which is which easier to see because it's more uh, in the middle, uh, this would be the, um, the evaluation of uh, one of the subjects and this the evaluation of the other one. And here in the middle, we have the, the averaged uh, value. So um, this is maybe more useful when we are um, comparing or, uh, or we want to obtain uh, the general result uh, for the test. Then we have here the properties uh, of the graphic. We can add a grid, uh, vertical and horizontal both together. This option is uh, actually not useful in this, uh, in this case of test. Um, and uh, this one it uh, really have no effect also this one you saw a little bit what was doing this is just uh, move the graphic and this is some op um, let's say let's say zoom options <coughs> uh, then we have also the confidence uh, interval option uh, it doesn't make really sense in this case because we have a, lit a very little set of results um, if you can check in the documentation what is exactly the confidence interval but if I select it this uh, figure may uh, appear uh, familiar to you because normally uh, when giving uh, the results of a test and so in uh, scientific articles or about seismoacoustics uh, normally the results are given with the confidence interval uh, and the confidence interval yeah it looks like this in this case 
So yeah, until here the explanation of the analyzing of Maestro test. Oh, I forgot about uh, the saving data options. I will show you now. It just uh, I would just uh, say here in this case uh, that um, it is possible to save the um, the uh, the information contained in a graphic by with these uh, different options we can save the graphic. Uh, this um, we can save it in a MATLAB uh, fig, and it would look like this. And uh, if we want to, to treat our results um, with MATLAB or with another kind of uh, processing, we can also obtain the data. Uh, we have Excel table, a MAT file, uh, and a text file. TXT file. Normally, TXT file you will not use this option, but I will now save it in a TXT file so. Um, it is easier to see for you. Uh, so I would um, press here in text file and uh, now I am asked for the name of the, the file so we will save it as tutorial and we will save it in the desktop. Now we open the document created and as we see here we have the we have basically the information contained here in the legend like we have the different scenarios and then uh, for every uh, data represent represented uh, that is appearing in the legend we have it here uh, numerically so yeah it would be said like this we have here the different the, the for the subjects the different questions and then at the end we have the confidence interval, we have the middle point which the middle point would be <coughs> in this case uh, this one and then we have the error which is the the length of the tail um, yeah so until here the tutorial about uh, analyzing mucho test uh, you can check other tutorials about uh, analyzing there might be some uh, option that I didn't explain now or uh, maybe it's of your interest. So thank you for watching and bye-bye. Uh,